Hi everyone. Today we will solve programs under the topic of absolute beginners in code kata using python. In this question, we are given coefficients a, b and c for the respective quadratic equation given here. In general, coefficients are the numbers which are present associated with the variables or constant present in a binary or an equivalent equation. So thus, what we have to do here is that we should find the roots of the respective binary equation using these coefficients and the formula is given below. I hope the question is clear and let's move on to the next part. To begin with, we declare three variables a, b, c in order to obtain the coefficients for this binary equation. As the formula for finding the root of an quadratic equation is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. As it's mentioned plus or minus, we have to derive two equations and print two outputs for this question. Thus, we formulate d as the part common part of the equation and we substitute the plus or minus sign further using additional variables. So we declare d as root of b square minus 4ac which is given in the equation and we declare m as d minus b divided by 2a in order to print the positive root and we declare n as minus of d minus b divided by 2a. Thus we have successfully calculated the roots of the quadratic equation using coefficients and we have to print this under the given constraints so they have provided that we have to print the answer for the roots up to only two decimal places so in order to declare such a way we round off this float value using this specific function all right now we will submit this code and check whether this passes all the test cases and now let's move to the next question in this question we are given a number and we have to check whether it is odd or even and we have to provide an output in such a way that if the number is even we should print even else we should print odd to begin with we declare a variable a to obtain the input and we use the if condition statement in order to check whether the number is even or odd if the number is even the variable used by the modulo operator to should return 0 else it would return 1 hence we could identify the odd and even integers and we would print the value. Let's proceed to the next question. And here they have provided a value in integer type and we have to check whether it is a leap year or a common year. Hence we declare A as given in the question to get the input of the particular year. And we declare an if statement as we know the conditions under which we could determine a leap year. So let's brief it for a second. Now let's view on the recent leap years which has appeared recently. Uh, starting from 2012 to 2028, all these leap years has one thing in common, that is they are divisible by 4. Hence we declare an if condition that if a uh, year is divisible by 4, it is a leap year. But as you can see, that many years which were not leap years could be also divisible by 4. Hence this one condition alone couldn't determine if a year is a leap year or not. Thus we concentrate in another nested if condition which states whether the particular year would be divisible by 1000 which means if the particular year written 0 when using a modulo operator against 1000 with the year it would be a leap year. Yet this condition doesn't allow satisfying whether it is a leap year. So thus we finally attain a point where we check a given year is a leap year or it is a common year. If a given year written 0 while using a modulo operator against 400 then the particular year is said to be a leap year. So thus we would print y if this particular condition passes else we would return n. And now let's check this code. And this code obtains past two results and passes all the test cases. And now let's move to the next question. In this question, we are provided with a number under the limit of the number of months available in a year. And we are said to print the number of days available in the corresponding month. In case of February, we are required to print 28 days whether it is a leap year or it's a common year. So we declare a variable A to get an input of type integer and we declare an array where we specify the 
months having 31 days 30 days and 28 days we all know that the number months having 31 days would be 1 3 5 7 8 10 12 and the remaining would be the number of months having 30 days excluding the number 2 as it is february thus it would have only 28 days so we have finished the initialization part and the only remaining thing which we have to do here is to declare for loops and test whether the given month is present in either of these arrays and print the number of days accordingly. If A is in the array consisting the number of months which have 31 days, then we would return 31. Likewise, we would repeat this if statement for the rest of the months available in a year. And thus, after doing this, we tests whether this code executes and passes all the test cases. And let's move to the next question. And in this final question of today's video, we are required to remove all the white spaces and find the length of the string given. So we are given a sample input and we should print the length of the string removing the white spaces alone. So let's declare a variable a to get the input of the string and in order to remove all the white spaces let's convert a as a list using the split function and we have to join the elements present in the input function or the list using the join list function and let's print the length of the variable attained without white space that's it for today and if you are new to my channel please subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to receive regular updates regarding problem solving in code cutter and don't forget to cross check the code which is available in the description below thanks and we will meet soon in another video